Nazir Little. He's been very, very impressive. Oh, Nasir. Nasir Little off the trampoline for the dunk. Nasir Little is a physical specimen built for the NBA. The explosive, self-made combo forward is set to make a splash in the ACC as a freshman. He may not have the hype of his counterparts, but Little is a legitimate candidate to go first overall in June. You imagine him in transition next year for the Tar Heels? One of the most impressive players. A late riser in the recruiting rankings, it wasn't until the summer of 2017 that Little truly broke out as an NBA prospect. He never played for USA Basketball. He wasn't on the Nike Hoop Summit team. But with an NBA profile, toughness, versatility on both ends, and a skill set that gets better at every stop, Little is exactly what scouts and executives are looking for. Oh, Little! Rising up! His ability to put the basketball on the floor, take the bump, the contact, he's got a grown man body already. He's, uh -huh. he's already prepared for college basketball physically. Nasir Little has an elite physical profile at 6'6", 220 pounds, with huge hands and a 7'1 wingspan. He's an explosive athlete who plays above the rim off two feet in space, using his 8'9 standing reach to extend versus shot blockers. Little is a lob threat in the open court and tries to tear down the rim every time he takes flight. The combo forward should turn in a host of highlight dunks during his freshman season at North Carolina. Little plays with an outstanding motor as well, using his length and bounce to attack offensive rebounds. He's a tip dunk threat every time down the floor, and his rebounding ability helps him slide up and play the four for long stretches. Little also uses his shredded 220 pound frame to finish through contact here over potential number one pick RJ Barrett and then goes right at Cam Reddish. He should live at the free throw line at the collegiate level. Physically, Nasir Little is exactly what NBA teams are looking for. Physically, Little resembles Boston Celtics wing Jalen Brown at the same age, standing 6'6 with a 7'1 wingspan and now up to 220 according to North Carolina. His NBA body and length will allow him to play either forward spot in the modern NBA, even as a rookie. A virtual unknown early in his high school career, Little emerged as a prospect thanks to his defensive toughness. He takes pride in locking up big name opponents, whether it's Zion Williamson or Cam Reddish. He has an outstanding motor. Even in all-star game settings, you saw him playing with tremendous intensity, using that 7-1 wingspan to alter shots on the perimeter. Here he is against Cam Reddish again, a potential top three pick in this upcoming draft. Does a great job keeping him in front and contesting on the perimeter. He's really good in pick and roll as well. He can switch, he can hard hedge, he can blitz. Here forces the turnover against Darius Garland and he can play make off the ball as well. Good athlete, really good instincts and just a mean streak about him that you don't often see with these highly ranked recruits. Should be able to defend at least four positions at the NBA level while adding value as a defensive rebounder. Known for his big time work ethic and professional approach to the game, Little has an efficient, versatile offensive attack that has evolved quite rapidly over the past year. He's not a great ball handler, but he's capable of pushing in transition, using his size, length, and athleticism to get to the front of the rim and finish. He's also added a transition pull-up three to his game, showcasing nice elevation and smooth mechanics. In the half court, Little's at his best as a small ball pick and pop four or a big wing spacing to the corners and knocking down catch and shoot threes. According to Crossover, Little is a career 38% three point shooter in 60 games in their database. He's still on the streaky side, but given his improvement mechanics and touch, it's easy to project Little as a plus shooter in the NBA. When defenders have to close out hard, Little takes advantage by using his long strides to put pressure on the rim. Here you can see he needs only one dribble to get from the three-point line to the front of the rim and does a great job of extending the ball away from help defenders. Transition finishes, putbacks, catch and shoot threes, and straight line drives will be Little's bread and butter. But he's also shown flashes as a shot creator. Now this comes in an all-star game setting, but he has excellent footwork on step backs and shows potential as a pull-up shooter. 
This isn't exactly inspiring defense, but Little can use his size, strength, and relentless attacking mentality to get to the rim against wings, and then his quickness advantage against slower-footed bigs. He's also added quite a bit to his skill package in the paint here with the offhand touch shot, just continues to get better and better and better. Lastly, Little can add value as a roller in small ball lineups. He's an explosive finisher off two feet in space and is really an ideal fit for the modern NBA. By far, Little's biggest question mark is his feel for the game. He doesn't exactly play read and react basketball and far too often turns down open spot threes for drives right into traffic. He's a bit sped up on the perimeter and can improve his ability to think the game versus scrambling defenses. Likely to spend a fair amount of time as a small ball four, Little will have to learn how to think on the fly against stunting defenders in pick and pop situations. He doesn't have many ways to make his teammates better at this stage and will also settle for contested pull up twos a bit too often. Little's overall feel for the game is certainly still a work in progress. While he's shown considerable improvement, there are still questions about Little's skill level as a shot creator. Can he exist on the wing in the NBA or is he more of a small ball four? These are important questions, especially considering his status as a potential number one pick. He's not the most polished ball handler versus pressure. He's mostly a straight line driver who doesn't change speeds or directions all that smoothly quite yet. While he has good footwork, a lot of his isolation offense ends in tough, off-balance pull-ups. Little can also continue adding more to his finishing package. He's predominantly a two-foot leaper, and although improved, he can still stand to add more finesse around the rim. His progress is certainly encouraging, but there's room for Little to round out his ball skills and overall offensive game. Lastly, Little still needs to become a more consistent perimeter shooter, especially with his limitations as a playmaker and a shot creator. More of an athlete early on in his high school career, Little has made great strides as a shooter, but there's still work to be done, as the caliber of shooter he becomes will go a long way in determining his long-term NBA upside. Has a work ethic that is just refreshing. It fits the kind of personnel that Roy Williams loves to have on the court. With all the attention on Duke's big three of R.J. Barrett, Cam Reddish, and Zion Williamson, don't count out Tar Heels forward Nasir Little to make a splash in the ACC and contend for the first overall pick in the 2019 NBA Draft.